Hi everyone. So I'm going to show you how to use Raz Kids, uh, what you can do in here and where to go to find things. So if, to find out how to log into Raz Kids, you need to read the assignment post to get your your login information to get to your class. And then your teacher will tell you also what your username and password is. So this is what you see when you get in. So there are two areas that you can go into. There's the level up room and then there's the reading room so the level up room is where you go to find books that have that are at your reading level and your choices are that with the headphones you can listen to the story be read to you and then the book is that you actually read the story yourself and you can also if you choose record yourself reading the story and then the quiz the question mark is for quizzes which a quiz will pop up after you've read the story. So if I click on a book, this one is, it will read to you if I hit the play button. Allie and Ollie are dogs. And it'll go through and read it to you. But if you wanna read it on your own, you click on the book, and then now you can read it on your own. And you click the next to turn the pages. And then at the top, if you wanna record yourself, you have the microphone, you just have to, give your computer permission um, to use your mic, okay? Um, so you can record yourself, you can start over, and you can listen to yourself read the book. Um, the other features are highlighting and writing on the book, uh, commenting or making connections to the book, and having your own notebook to keep words in or reflections about books. Your classroom teacher will let you know if they'd like you to use those features. Uh, but right now, the focus is just on get in here, play around, read some books, listen to some books, record yourself reading books, and do the comprehension quizzes. And once you complete all the tasks within this level, then you would move on up to the next level. Now, this is in the uh, level up room. There's also the reading room, which is for you to choose any book you want, really. Uh, so you can have books that are, in this case, these books are within the level that you're assigned for reading. You can click view all to view more. And then across the top, you have multiple topics here that you could read other books or poems or passages or comic books, uh, nonfiction books, things like that are across the top. And if you click the next, you have even more things that you can get into. Okay, so like nonfiction. Here's some nonfiction books that you could look at. Okay, uh, and then let me go back. You do, as you read books and answer quizzes and listen to stories, you earn stars, which will show right up here. And then if you, once you get enough stars, you can then go to the star zone and use them to work on a spaceship or building your avatar. And then this center, my stats, lets you know how many books you've read, um, the badges that you could earn, and then the books, how many books you've read in a week, how many you listened to, how many questions you've done, things like that. And then also for, there's messages that your parents could send you messages or the teacher could send you messages in here. And then lastly, uh, parents, if you want to get emails about how your child's doing with Raz Kids directly, you can click on the parents tab, the parents link there, and put in your information and request access. Okay, um, so that is how you use Raz Kids.